This is lab 2, the cranial skeleton part 5, the mammal skull, and we're going to be looking at a cat skull. So over here, we've got the premaxilla with the incisor teeth. Then next is the maxilla with the canines. The palatine is this structure right here. This is the lacrimal. Uh, the zygomatic, also known as the jugal, is this. So this whole area is the zygomatic arch. The post-orbital processes are these processes right here, um, caudal to the orbit, which is what houses the eye. The temporal is this bone right here. The sagittal suture is this suture right here. Um, this is the frontal bone. These two are the frontals. These are the parietals. These triangular bones are the interparietals, so this and this. Uh, the lamboidal suture is this suture right here. This is the sagittal crest, nuchal crest, occipital bones, which we'll look at later. Uh, the whole area from the caudalmost part of the skull to the post-orbital processes is known as the temporal fenestra. This suture right here is the coronal suture. And, yep. Then, so when we look at a lateral view, um, the things that we see that are different are the tympanic bulla, this big bulgy thing right here, with the mastoid process right here, which is what the sternomastoid muscle, which we'll learn about later, is attached to. Okay, then we move on to a ventral view. So here we've got the palatine fissure, these two holes right here, the maxilla here, premaxilla here, the zygomatic again here, um, the presphenoids are is this structure right here. Um, the basisphenoid is this stru structure right here. This is the basi occipital. This fossa, this groove kind of right here, is the mandibular fossa. Um, these are the tympanic bulla again. And here we've got the foramen magnum. Uh, the occipital condyles are this structure right here, and the coeni are basically, the internal nostrils are there and there again. Okay, so now we're going to look at the jaws. But before we do that, um, we can't see it here, but there's a plate that separates basically the brain cavity from the internal nostrils, and that's called the cribriform plate, which has foramina in it, which is where the olfactory nerves go through. Um, there are concave inside the nostrils, so there, they're called, um, also called turbinates. And so now we're going to move on to the jaws. Um, we are first going to look at a carnivore jaw. jaw. So a good way to know if it is um, lateral is to look for the mental foramina, which are, which are these. Okay, so we've got um, the incisor teeth, canines, premolars, molars. This is the mesetric fossa, uh, coronoid process, condyloid process, angular process. Then if we flip it over, Again, we have the processes, uh, coronoid, condyloid, angular. This whole section constitutes the mandibular ramus. This is um, molars, premolars, again, canine, incisor. And this whole section right here is the mandibular symphysis. Now, if we compare that to the herbivorous, um, this is a lateral view of a herbivore jaw. We've got, again, condyloid, Sorry, coronoid, condyloid, angular, mesetric, uh, mental foramina, incisor teeth, um, premolars and molars, and the mesetric fossa.